Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into this thing, y'all. You know what I'm here talking about. That Teofimo Lopez versus that George Cambosis. That fight is definitely going on, y'all. Check it out, though. You know, it was set originally June the 5th. <laughs> then it was organized and moved to June the 19th. Then... You know, your boy Lopez, he contracted, you know, the COVID. So they didn't move that to another date, but it was, you know, kind of finagled a little bit so that it would be in Australia. And that it didn't roll good with Lopez <laughs> because check this out. Australia had a 14 day quarantine where he would have to be in a room for 14 days before he could, you know, go out and train for the fight. He was like, nah, nah. So they got their lawyers involved and everything, and then boom, moved it back. So now it's finalized for October 4th in NYC. <laughs> Crazy, yeah, yeah, at the MSG Theater, in the Hulu Theater, at Madison Square Garden. And, uh, you know, this report, you know, it comes in for ESPN. They uh, interviewed the Triller COO, Thorsten Meyer. And so this is what he told them, you know. It was originally set for October the 5th, but they moved it to October the 4th because the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox, they had a playoff game, you know. So they didn't want to you know compete with that because just you know along them gonna be two amazing events uh monday and a tuesday so crazy 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 uh because you know this has been a roller coaster of a scheduling event for this fight um and hopefully i don't know hopefully this is the promotion the event needed you know going up and down with scheduling location and date changes hey it could mean that maybe this will be one of the most watched fights i it's on a monday evening <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how that go you know most big events like this is on a saturday but Look, all I know is Triller got a lot of money involved in this. You know, they, they won the bid with with six point uh, uh eighteen million, and all the rescheduling. You know, that costs money. That's marketing. That's advertising. That they paid for a couple times. So, <sighs> you know, I hope they they make their money back on this job for real. So, but I know for a fact, though, it's definitely going to be a good fight. For real, for real. Lopez coming in at 16 and 0, 12 KOs, ESPN number one lightweight and the number five pound for pound fighter. He won the unified championship in October with a unanimous decision victory over Vasily Lomachenko. You remember that? And George Cambosis, 19 0 10 KOs. ESPN number nine lightweight earned the title shot. We won a split decision win over Lee Selby later that month. So, hey, we're going to see what, what goes on. You know, it's going to be a good fight regardless. I can definitely put the money on that. I know for a fact George Cambos is coming in as hungry as he probably ever had. He looking for the biggest plate of his life right now. And, and hey, and Lopez looking to defend his titles. You know, let him know that, hey, he, he ain't no pushover. 
hey, this is this is gonna be a good fight. I think both guys got a good shot at winning. I do lean more the edge to Lopez, the champion, just because of the ring experience and winning over Vasily Lomachenko definitely gives you a lot more confidence stepping into a fight. So with that being said, that's this time on this video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm out, y'all. But look, I'm on social media everywhere. All right, peace.